Today we're going to make a miniature propane filter to filter propane going through a half inch copper tubing. You need five different part numbers. One of the items will be a half inch tubing flare nut female to go on your half inch tubing. You'll need two of them. You'll need a half inch male pop, female pipe thread fitting to half inch male tubing flare fitting. You also need a half inch male pipe thread fitting to half inch male flare fitting. It will be machined in the inside approximately 5 8 inches in diameter. You'll also need a spring that's made out of 045 wire, 45 thousandths wire, six coils approximately inch and 3 8 long, and 5 8 in diameter. That can be purchased at the farm store in the spring assortments. You also need a T-Jet screen for a spray, for a T-Jet sprayer. It's 50 mesh. You can also buy 100 mesh, which is twice as fine. The part number of the T-Jet screen is a 5053-50-SS. SS standing for stainless steel. They come four to a box, approximately $17 a box. We're going to make this filter for less than $15. The filter will be directional. This will be the body of the filter itself. These two fittings screwed together. We're, we'll use the screen for this filter. It has a flange on it. The spring will fit over the screen against the flange. The flange will go into the male pipe, th pipe thread fitting into the smooth bore down against the bottom. This, this filtering system is directional. The, the propane will go from the outside the screen towards the inside and out through the center of the T-Jet fitting. Out through the center of the fitting. Rotate the screen slightly as you install it to center it, to get it to rotate and go to the bottom of the bore. To shrink it slightly. Put rector seal number five or a similar sealant on the outside of the male threads but not over the end of the threads, end of the fitting to prevent it from getting into the filter assembly. Keep it on the threads. Screw the two brass fittings together. The spring will seat in the bottom of the female pipe thread, half inch pipe thread fitting and hold the screen in the bottom of the male pipe thread fitting. This will be the inlet. This will be the outlet. Then you'll cut the tubing and flare it. So after you install the nuts, you'll cut the tubing and you'll flare the tubing and then screw the, the nut down over the fitting. Your filter assembly will be that long. And then the other nut will be on the other side to hold the to continue the flow of the propane. The propane will come from this side. The female the female pipe thread to the male pipe thread. So make sure you have the propane coming this direction 
thank you and thanks for my son for videoing it. Have a great time making your own filter and good luck. It may could save you a $300 control valve for a 50,000 BTU stove or some such, such a matter as that. Control valves are no longer repairable. They generally just replace them. If they get contaminated, they replace the control valve or replace the stove or whatever appliance there is. Thank you. Have a good day.